Spider-Man. She's Spider-Man. 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 <laughs> On my way to hit Fred with a frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even with you. Show me your favorite pose. Yeah. I told you they're working together. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are here at our favorite thrift shop. And uh, it's our honey hole. So I don't know if I'm going to share with you. No, I'll share with you. It is the Wacom Humane Society thrift store. So it's fully volunteer ran and all of the proceeds go back to the Wacom Humane Society. Their prices are like garage sale prices. It is Sunday and it's about an hour before they close. So I'm going to see what is on the shelves, see how quickly they restock it. So let's go ahead and check out, see what we can find. All right, let's go. <laughs> you are silly. Hi there. Yeah, you want to get your own tiny cart? Nah. No? Okay. Well, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to insert a little bit of voiceover during the shopping trip. Um, right now, I'm looking at the front kiosk, and this is a salt glaze pottery piece for $2, but I decided to not pick it up because it wasn't signed, and the glaze was kind of faded. These plates were really cute. They're not my style, but I know that people would want them, but I decided not to pick them up because they wanted $3 a piece, and... They would sell for about $20 if it wasn't a famous potter and it just said Dean. And here we have some Japanese fishing floats um, that are authentic, but I am way more interested in this Fisher Price 1960s Bluebird. It's one of the pull strings and it plays music. Yep, that's gonna go straight into my cart. Thank you very much. As cute as a button. So I do end up getting the Japanese fishing floats. Uh, the sell-through is really good on those. And also they sell for really good money. As we were walking to the back, somebody had announced that there was 50% off all clothing on this day. So we had to, of course, stop and take a look. At a dollar, I definitely would have grabbed this Doctor Who zip up hoodie but it had cracks on the front and I like to pick up things that are in excellent condition for a resale. I don't typically do clothing, but when there is a good vintage find, I will absolutely snag it. Like this vintage, super soft, three quarter sleeved or half sleeved sweater. Uh, this is an old Navy and I don't recognize that tag. So that one might've been vintage too. And it's a chambray shirt. Totally would have picked that up for a buck. However, it had that hole. <laughs> Abby's got her part. <laughs> Another hole. I ended up finding just one more shirt, but this one was for Abby. I didn't think that she'd like it, but she totally loved it. <laughs> oh, do you want it? <laughs> I think that's a yes. Check out this desk. It's a nice desk. Is that the kind of storage desk that we can get? It's almost like that. That's what you need. Yeah. I don't think we have enough. Well, I don't think we have a hundred bucks. How much is it? Unfortunately, the desk had already been sold. They were just waiting to pick it up. But there's a sleeping cat, and we need him. Forty winks. This one's forty winks by K. McDonough, and I think it's just a print, but. Even the prints are selling. Um, slow, slow seller. The subject matter is really good. So I decided for six bucks, I would go ahead and stick them in my cart. Probably put it up for 75. 
or best offer, which isn't bad for $6 um, investment. And Abby was wondering where the toys were because they moved the section. So she's going to go just scope that out while I come over here to the men's section and see if there's any bolos in here. I did find a few things. I only look in the extra large and up for men's clothes because they sell the quickest for me. And because the clothes were 50% off, um, that made most of these things a dollar, 50 cents to a dollar. So this one was a dollar 50. It was a 4X. Yep, I'm putting that in my cart. Uh, this is a Life is Good shirt. It's only 50 cents. Yep, I'm putting that in my cart. <laughs> um, the next one is an REI Fisherman's shirt. It's a khaki one for two bucks. That one's going in my cart. And then the texture of this was so super soft. Um, and it was made in the USA. I didn't even know what the tag was, but for a dollar, it's going in my cart. And this one was a made in France tag on it. It's a hundred percent cotton. That one's going in my cart for a dollar fifty. Uh, so we kind of scored on all of the clothing today. I'm going to go up and meet Abby over in the toy section. We're going to check out some art along the way. I didn't really find anything here. Oh, fine. It's only two dollars. Mom, it's only two dollars. Yeah, but you already have one. I'm going to make a collection, Mom. That is beautiful. You don't need to collect all of the things. I promise you this. I think car collections are cool. Hey, what's the, um, what are some of these vintage toys down here? This was just a vintage shape sorter toy, probably from the 90s. Um, I just wasn't into any of the toys today, so we decided not to pick them up. But I am going to go through the art prints and see if there's anything in here. Sometimes at a buck or two, you can find a really good art print. I thought about getting this clipper ship print. It's one of those um, prints that's on a, like a hardboard, not cardboard, but hardboard. Um, but the edges were kind of scuffed up and the front of it was scuffed up. So I decided to leave that behind. And I didn't really find anything else in the art print section that tickled my fancy. Did find a Jimmy Buffett CD set, <laughs> uh, but this painting, this painting had some moolah, some value behind it, but they wanted 80 bucks. Goodness gracious. Here's some comps that are available right now on eBay. So you can see some of them are listed for upwards of $700. Typically the sell through or the selling point is about 250. So I could have put the money in and made a decent penny on that picture, but it was big. I didn't want to store it. I didn't want to ship it. So I'm just going to leave that one behind. So we're moving right along into the linen section, which is my absolute favorite thing to sell. I love selling vintage linens. I found a three-piece bath mat, pink. Who doesn't need a bath mat set that's pink? I think everybody does, but I ended up not getting it. Now, before you shoot the messenger, let me just say that it wasn't priced. And when I found out what the price was at $10, there just wasn't enough profit in it for me. Okay, I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house boy. Bored in a house and I'm in a house boy. Bored in a 
okay, this kid is cracking me up. She was so bored. She got done with her shopping. She had looked over the entire store in five minutes and she was ready to get out. So I'm gonna hustle and get done as quick as I can. I found some Ikea stool covers. I picked them up. The sell-through is ridiculous on them. They sell for like 39 bucks a piece and I paid a dollar. So be on the lookout for Ikea, it sells. Be the cameraman. Here, we're just gonna. I'm coming, man. Hi. We have a little angel that's so fun. Pacific ENT. Hmm. It's made in China, so it's crap. Well, mommy you say that China stuff is blah. Tends to be. Speaking of China stuff, can we go to the Dolly Tree after this? You're Mickey. Oh, it's Mickey. Cute. Mickey haunts my dreams though. <laughs> He's, a He's, a cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Hey. She's she's one quarter chihuahua and she's mostly min pin. Miniature pincher. Oh and then, yeah, a little hook or something. Hey mom. Oh. That's very cool. Mom, is there someone I can talk to, to like about the jewelry stuff to see if they have any friendship stuff? Um, yeah, give me just a second and I'll help you. Or like matching bracelets, I don't know. And here we have the find of the day. This is Mexican folk art. It is made of terracotta. It's a tree of life candelabra. There is Adam and Eve and a serpent on there. Be on the lookout for these. The bigger they are, the more colors they have, the more money they make. Uh, the sell through rate is ridiculous on these. Um, and for a dollar, even though it was a little damaged, I'm putting it in my cart. Next, I found a new inbox Lennox Bluebird vase, and they wanted $4. Yes, it's from TJ Maxx originally, but it sells for $45, so at four bucks, I'm sticking that in my cart. What in the world? Are these little dog shoes? Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all, I can understand putting dog shoes on your dog's feet when you live in sub-zero temperatures, okay, okay. but in the Pacific Northwest where the average temperature is like 40 to 60 degrees, why? <laughs> why do you need dog shoes? They have pads on their feet. <sighs> but they were Vibram, and I guess be on the lookout. I would totally would have gotten them at $2 if they were all four of them but there were only three so the doggy must have lost one of its shoes or maybe it was an amputee doggy i don't know but here we are abby and i are looking through the jewelry case there was some nice stuff down here that i could have purchased but um the buy-in was just too much for what i wanted to spend for this day and um abby is just enjoying looking at all of the jewelry Hi. I think um, Buddy left his painting palette here. <laughs> How much more stuff do you need? Now that I'm done with my shopping, I'm bored. Okay, I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house bored. Mikasa. Let's talk about it. 
How many times have you been fooled by a beautiful pattern that Mikasa has put out like this? There were five or so listings on eBay, absolutely none sold of this pattern. It is just overproduced. So do yourself a favor, even though it's pretty, don't be tempted by it. <laughs> I'm going through the kitchen section and I, you know, I see this beautiful creamer and sugar set. They wanted $4 a piece. Um, and that was just a little bit too much. I probably could have gotten $20 out of it. Um, but for the amount of time that it sits in my store, I just don't pick it up that much anymore. Um, I'm looking through the pictures. This is a beautiful blue glaze, but there was no signature on it. What was up with the no signature on the pottery today? I don't know. I've never ran into so many pieces before. And leave a comment below if you would have picked up this salt glazed cow pitcher. I kind of regretted it until I got home and I looked up the comps on blue salt glazed pitchers. There were a ton listed, none like the one that I had, and just a couple sold and they're selling for like 15, 20 bucks. So it just wasn't worth my time and my energy but I am looking through all of the kitchen gadgets. I have found so many good items in these little trays over the past year since they've been open. I just can't not go and look through it. But the store was a little bit crowded at this point, so I'm having a hard time kind of sifting through without bumping into the next person. This is a Spice of Life cutting board, and at a dollar or two, I definitely would have gotten that, but it had a bunch of scratches. The condition just wasn't up to my par. And here we had some Melmec cups. Those are a really good seller, um, and at 50 cents a piece, I definitely would have gotten them if they were the same color or if there were more. Um, this tin looks like Wedgwood but it wasn't just a random cookie tin and in a second here you're going to see my regret of the day why god I'm totally going back on Thursday to see if they are still there. Those would have been a good buy. They're little oyster baking dishes. Don't ask. No. Don't ask. It's a secret. Yeah. No, like it's actually secret. Parents are allowed to know. In case you need a bag of doll hair. What the? <laughs> oh, here's two toned hair. <gasps> there we go. You don't need it. No. Yeah. All right, Abby, here we go. This is decision dice. This answers your every question. The three wood dice clip fit casting board book of answers. It's a Bar Barnes and Noble thing. What, what do we have inside? It's empty. Oh, no, it's not. <sighs> There's no dice. How will we ever have our questions answered? How will we ever have our questions answered if there's no dice? Future. What's in front of you but you can't see? My nose. Future. <laughs>